Now, um, this is part two of the tuition video of your bug house. As I said before at the end of the last video, it's good to save your work. So if you haven't done that, uh, remember to go to save, uh, so file, save, and then save your work there. Um, now I would personally uh, rotate this. You can use the Orbit tool so that um, it looks like it's roughly in this position. You can grab different areas of your orbit tool to kind of move it around and you can have a little play with that um, till it's roughly in this area another way of doing this if you press escape now it will come out of the orbit tool and you could click on the um, uh, this kind of relative face on the box here so if you click it there and then top left hand corner that brings you uh, in a nice place as well and that's kind of how we want it so that halving joint is at the bottom on the left hand side so once you've got it into that position, I want you to start a new 2D sketch by clicking up here and then coming down and clicking on this face here. This is going to be our front. Um, once you've done that, we want to project geometry. Project geometry um, just marks out lines that we haven't drawn already. Uh, excuse that sound. Um, it's marking out uh, uh, points to help us. Um, so we're just going to click on this point here so I'm just going to click there whilst project geometry is highlighted um, and then when we come to use our rectangle tool it will automatically just lock onto that point there so I'm going to click once there and bring it down and it should snap onto six once you get to the bottom area there um, so we can now leave that highlighted at six and press tab and we want to tap in 120 so one two zero and press enter that's given us a nice rectangle here that we can use on our bottom. So we are going to finish that sketch now, uh, zoom all, and then we're going to extrude that. Okay. Now, if you weren't using before your drop-down menu, it is good. If you can only see this, it's good to use the drop-down menu here, um, and then use the dimension here to be able to uh, use this to be able to write in your dimension. Um, we want this to be one zero five like that. Now it's you can see it's doing it the wrong way, the wrong direction. Um, so we're just going to use this button to change the direction. Okay, and now you can see that's exactly the same length. Now before you click OK, you do need to press this button called New Solid. If I don't press that button by accident, you'll see um, that this is now one complete material. There's no join there that you can see. Um, whereas that button you solid, if I come, if you do forget, just come back over to extrusion free and double click on that icon, um, and then press it here. That actually creates uh, or makes it as a different material, which is really important. If I click that now, okay, you can see it there. Now you can see um, these are our extrusions, and the sketches that we did before are inside these extrusions. You can see there they are. Um, so every time you create a sketch and then put an extrusion, it goes inside here. Okay, so save your work again, and then we will move on to part 